Just listen to this. And this. I've been testing out the Leica Q3 for a while now and I just wanted to give you my thoughts on it. I have used the Leica Q and I've used the Leica Q2 and I currently own the Leica Q2 monochrome. I just kind of wanted to give you my thoughts on how this new Q3 holds up against them. Just talk a little bit about the improvements. Kind of had a little bit of wonder around Carlisle and as expected it's lightweight, it just doesn't get in the way. I just wanted to kind of see what the difference in using this camera in those places was to my usual Q2 monochrome. I took it to Carlisle train station and there was a lot going on there. There's a lot of things that everybody was crying out for after the Q2. One of the things that everybody wanted was a flippy screen. So we've got a flippy screen now, which I'm sure people will be happy about. You could just get much lower angles. A lot of times with my current Q2 monochrome, you kind of got to guess sometimes as to what you're taking photographs of if you're shooting very low down. Video shooters are going to be happier because there is actually connectivity there whilst on the Q2 and on the Q and the Q2 monochrome there was no connectivity at all for mics and other peripherals. As somebody that really takes everything in monochrome, how does this camera hold up? Because I've been banging on for ages about how much I love cameras with monochrome sensors and that's why I've got a Q2 monochrome. But Actually, at some of the lower ISOs, there is no actual difference between a monochrome sensor and a colour sensor. It's only at the higher ISOs from 1600 and above that it actually really matters because a monochrome sensor camera has much more shadow detail. But if you shoot this at the lower ISOs, say anything up until 800, then you're going to get loads of dynamic range and loads of shadow detail out of this camera. I also took some portraits with it just to put it through the paces and the detail is just amazing. Another thing that everybody was crying out for was better autofocus. The Q3 has intelligent autofocus. I've tested all of the different autofocus modes out and I have to say all of them have worked really well. For some reason everybody seemed to want a Q3 with a 50mm lens rather than a 28mm lens. Believe it or not, I think Leica have done the right thing here rather than listen to everybody and give it a 50mm lens. A 50mm lens is actually quite limited compared to a 28mm lens. You're going to get into those situations where you're just not going to be able to get back far enough from the subject. Whereas with a 28mm lens, it's much more of a general lens. And with 60 megapixels, which is what this camera has, then you could easily crop that afterwards if you needed to. So it's still got the 28mm 1.7 Summilux lens. And there's nothing wrong with that because it's just an amazingly sharp lens. It's got that same macro feature that all the other Q cameras have had also. And of course, because it's Leica, it just feels so good in the hand. It's still a very minimalistic type of camera. There's just not much on the back of this camera at all. 
it just gets out of the way to let you take photographs. One of the things I've always loved about these Q system cameras is this battery where you just press a little release and then it just comes out just like that. And then you can change the battery just by pushing it back in again. I think that these are a great camera for street photographers and I'm sure some of you maybe think well you know what about portrait photographers surely they wouldn't want a camera with a fixed 28 millimeter lens but I've took lots and lots of portraits on a 28 millimeter lens it's actually my go-to focal length it's just a much more intimate experience with the subject. As soon as you start to switch to something like an 85 millimeter lens, that's known as the perfect portrait lens. I just find that, you know, there's just a, such a separation from me and the subject. It's almost like I'm having to kind of wave over to them and shout over to them to tell them what to do. A 28 millimeter lens just brings you closer to the subject. Photography has always been my passion, but it's really only since I started to use Leica cameras that I've got that feeling back that I had from the film days. I just love well-constructed cameras. It's the sort of camera that you just want to pick up and go out and shoot with it. It's the experience as well as the images that you get at the end of it. Sometimes it's all about having the right camera to make you want to go out and take photographs. This is definitely one of those cameras. What about anybody that's got a Leica Q2 at the moment? Is it worth the upgrade to the Q3? Well, that really depends. Do you think that you need those extra megapixels? Have you been struggling with the autofocus? Will that tilting screen really be a benefit to you? If that's the case, then yeah, it would be a great upgrade for you. If not, then I'm sure you'll be fine with your Q2. Thanks so much for watching this video and thanks for everybody that's subscribed so far. If there's anything that you guys wanna see, then please just leave that in the comments and I'll see if I can do a video on that for you. So please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all that sort of stuff that helps the algorithms. I'll see you next time. I'm off out to take some photos.